Hi all, welcome to Santa Kilan. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Particular kind of a system that is nothing but known as the IoT, known as Internet of Things. So how this particular coding is working, uh, especially inside this range. So whatever I have done, it is for in range of. This is the initiator, terminal value, and increment or decrement interval value. Now since here I have provided as twenty, this comes under zero, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, hundred. Similarly, once it reach hundred. It will uh, exit from this for loop and will move to the next for loop. From hundred, hundred will be the initial initial value, terminal value, and interval. So from hundred I have to decrease. So minus twenty, then comes with eighty, sixty, forty, twenty, zero. For both data I have given field one, field one. So continuously it will be. Working inside the while loop. That's it. Now the same thing. Uh, let us try with uh, Raspberry Pi. Now we shall try the same thing with the Raspberry Pi. So here by we don't have that code. I hope so. So we can interface at DHT11. Why frequently I am choosing DHT11 means with the single sensor I will be able to upload double data. So that is the reason. Okay, I hope many things are similar. GPIO dot in. So here we no need this also. Okay, now the most important part is letter five. I mean, thing and other things are required. Okay, fine. Now onto this. Here I have to collect two datas. Into two different fields. Two. I have made it field one and field two. Now get back to our thing speak. Stop it. Go to channel setting. Go to channel setting and uh, clear the channel. It will be clearing all the previous data. Go to private view again and check it. Yeah, now all the data has been cleared. Now again, come back to channel setting. Create another one field. Humidity, temperature. Yeah, fine. Now click on save channel. The two fields are ready, and this part is also ready. Now let us connect our hardware. So this is as as usual our DHT. Now provide the pin onto the four GPIO four. Okay, so it is ready. The seventh pin GPIO four. Now run the program. Now let us wait. So some syntax error is there. No. So that's it. Now let us see the data inside our feed.
so let us check our i hope now it works that's it get back to things speak data is ready that's it we are getting the data on to this uh, field too we will be getting in some delay now let us check maybe due to some variable mismatch there are chances okay so in this way only we will be uploading the data onto the thing speak using raspberry pi thank you for watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel uh, inside this for loop 